in this scene I'd like to have some light casting from this light onto this uh, logo and table. So what I need to do is have an object to serve as the light bulb. If I hide this part I can see that I have a light bulb shaped part and I can actually apply an HDR texture that will emit light. And to create that texture I need to go into Photoshop. So I'm going to shift P to pause Hypershot and then I can open up Photoshop and go to File, New. I'm going to do 512, 512 and leave everything else default and click OK. When that's open, go to Image, Mode, 32 bits per channel. Then that will allow you to create colors that have a light value. Now click your color selector here and choose a white color and type in 5 for your intensity. Now you can do more intensity or lower intensity depending on how bright you want your light and you can also change the color by selecting different areas of the color selector. For now I'm just going to stick with white and 5. Click OK and then hit shift backspace to open up the fill option box and tell it to use foreground color and click OK. Now you can go to file, save as and choose radiance format and give it a name, intensity 5 lighthdr for example and hit save. Now you can go back into Hypershot by minimizing Photoshop and then hitting Shift P to bring it back. Now just double click on the surface you want to change the texture and that will open up the material properties. Change it to a general material and load in the, your texture. Select it, click open. And you'll see that it now becomes white. In order to add some more light to this you can click on the ambient color here and bring it up more towards the white. Click OK, and now click OK for your material. You can see this doesn't really change much in the scene, and so what you need to do is go to Settings and enable Detailed Indirect Illumination. Now you can see this grainy light that's starting to spread across the surface. I'm going to bring back my shade, and I'm also going to hide my Options box here, and then start bringing down the environment. Now if I let that res up for a second, you can see that that grainy light starts to smooth out. And when you have an emissive light, it is quite a bit more taxing on the resources of your computer, so it will take longer to smooth up and to uh, res, res all the way up. Now I can bring back my options box if I want to do a final render. Go to the Render tab. You're going to want to start with some higher settings than your average render. I'm going to try 64 samples, 16 rebounces, and 3 for the global illumination quality. And I'm going to put in my resolution, and then find the camera angle I want, and then just hit render. Now that your render is done, you can click OK or take a look at it. Click OK. And you may find that your render had some rough areas, and that's just the nature of uh, using these emissive lights. Uh, to, if you have little white speckling, you can try increasing the samples. And if your shadows look a little rough, try increasing your global illumination quality.